let's take a look at overlapping tasks. Notice the schedule here, very straightforward. Tasks A through G on each row. Very simple, but sometimes people want to have multiple tasks per row and have that be a standard setting. So I'm going to go into task settings here. And let's say we want to put some more tasks under task D here. Let's do task uh, D1 and also a task D2. And let's say task D1, we want it to, actually before I do that, I'm going to drag it up here. Whoops, a little too high. Task D2 up here. I'm going to go into the settings on task D1. And I'm going to ask it to, under the overlap settings, to overlap that by five days. So it's a, a full overlap because we have a five day tax period there. But let's say task D2, we want it to be a shorter task. Maybe this is a, a three day task. And we'll overlap this one by three days. And notice they overlap whatever task is previous to that task. So it's showing the three that's out of standard. Um, notice these new boxes now, as you tap on them, they jump right to the setting that you're, um, that you want to work on. I'm going to hit save and show you what it's done. So now you'll notice task D now has task D1 and task D2 uh, directly overlapping this. And now let's say we're updating the schedule here um, with task A. And let's say its task duration is increased. Since it's during this lock line period, it's going to ask me for a reason. Yeah, it's a, a design issue. I'm going to hit save on this. You notice now that task A is pushed out, pushed all the other tasks out. If I don't want it to push those tasks out, I can go individually. There's task B here. I'm going to edit the links. And I'll show the default links. So these are the links that um, are automatically built. And I'll make this one overlap two days that direction. If I hit save on that, you'll notice now that task B is able to overlap that. Um, I'll do the same for this task A here. Edit these links. And a positive value makes it overlap to the left. A negative value will push it to the right. It will automatically build all the CPM logic accordingly. Um, so far as finish to starts uh, with a positive lag or start to starts with positive lags. Um, it avoids negative lags. It avoids loose ends. It sews everything up neat and clean for, for your CPM tool when you export it. And you can, the sky's the limit. You can do that with any task in any situation, create those overlaps now. Thank you.